Okay. I am Dragos and in this video I will continue the our series of how you can install Virtualmin and put your first uh, domain on on it with with WordPress. In first two videos we have installed Virtualmin. Then we we did uh, some some configurations like installing multiple PHP versions and uh, create a server template that will install automatically WordPress for us and uh, did some performance uh, improvement into the uh, nginx config file in this video what we'll do is to create our first virtual server from the template that we just created put our put an SSL let's encrypt certificate on our domain and do some additional NGs configurations for WordPress and activate HTTP2 in in this web server so the our site to to load faster. Okay, our this site is uh, is if it does that site to to be able to to add it and have it properly configured we need to be sure that we have the, the DNSs on on our domain. In our first video we created two custom DNSs like NS1 UP does that site and NS2 that we does that site and they they have been added on into this domain. If we'll check the website now you'll see that uh, it will not work. Because it's not added into our our virtual min installation. To do this, we log in into the UI of our server. We go to to virtual min tab, and we create the virtual server. We hit create. Here we put the domain name. Does that site? You can give it a description if you want. We can put a password. Here we choose the template. In the last video, we created WordPress auto install that I will auto install WordPress with adding the username for the DB and password. Here we'll let automatic in advanced setting will not change anything. For the enable futures we we set up the DNS, we let this set up for for Webalizer, we'll let on the virus filtering, we enable the AU stats report in case we need something, we enable NGX SSL website because will have an SSL certificate from Let's Encrypt. We'll accept the mail for the domain. We'll create the MySQL database. We'll also have the spam filtering. We don't want a women login. And we enable NG Nginx website. Here we'll let the default settings. So right now we just need to hit create server and uh, virtual min will create everything for us it will create a user a restriction user the home, home directory with wordpress in it It'll take some time until this will copy all the WordPress files to the home directory. It's done. It will add the DNS. It will add the domain to the email. We'll create the Nginx virtual host. Fast CGI to we'll use for this.
Kan ik de MySQL? Set up de EU Stats Reporting. It will create a self-sign SSL certificate that we will need to replace it with a Let's Encrypt one. That is a sign one from a certificate authority. Add this to the Nginx. It's restarting now the DNS and Nginx, Nginx and that's it. Right now we have added our first domain into the, the virtual min. Let's log in again. Okay, as you can see here, we have in this area the, our first website. If we visit this website, let's do it like this, HTTPS. You will see that the connection is not private. Next, we need to, to make to add the certificate. To do this, we will need to, to go to virtual admin server configuration, SSL certificates in Let's Encrypt and the generate one. Let's go there in virtual admin server configurations, SSL certificate. Second, doesn't let me enter there. Let me let me take the the IP for this one, and I will log in with the IP. Let me log in with the IP. of the servers, not with the name. Okay, let's go to server configuration, SSL certificate. Okay, and here we'll have the Let's Encrypt tab. And here we will need to request the certificates. We will request the certificates for the www and the non www version. We will need to renew it after two months because Let's Encrypt Certificates, it's only valid for three months. Now we hit Request Certificate. And uh, right now the, the, the server will request the certificate and will add it to, to our server. Just need to wait and have this done. Okay. Right now if we visit again the We don't have that, that exec, exec, exception, so we have a certificate that is valid. Next, we will need to go through the installation process. As you remember, we created a template and WordPress was automatically 
automatically add it into home directory of these sites. Right now, the user and the, the DB are in the config file and we need to follow the, the next configurations. We choose the language, we put the site title here, we put a, a username, we put a password here, we put the email address, and we hit install WordPress. Right now, if we visit this, we have a WordPress site installed with the SSL certificate, but <clears throat> next we'll need to do some some configuration engineering so the, the traffic that is coming to HTTP to be redirected to the HTTPS one. We do this by adding this. If we want to use the, the pretty links in WordPress, then we'll need to, to add this in the, the server. For faster loading, we'll add also HTTP2 in, in the configurations. And in the end, uh, the, the server in the Nginx configuration, it will look like this with all our modifications. So first, if you go here and we'll access the HTTP version, it, you'll see that you are not redirected to the HTTP 1S. Let's, let's do the configurations. We go to, to webmin serv servers and Nginx web server to edit the Nginx configuration. We are already in the UI. We go to webmin tab. We're going to servers and Nginx web server. And we hit edit configuration file. If you go down, you will see here the, the server for the upidos.site and has these configurations. It is starting it here and ends here. Between these brackets, we will need to add our code. First, we add the 301 redirections to the HTTPS. Like this. Then, we need to add the configurations for the pretty links so they can work. Here, we copy this. We go and we add it after this. Okay. And next we'll need to add the HTTP2. We go into this area where we have the listen, the IP port and the SSL, the protocol. And we just put HTTP, HTTP2. And then we hit save. The configuration will be tested. It has no error. We hit save and close again and apply Nginx configurations. Right now, if we go to WordPress and we, we go to non-HTTPS version, it will redirect us to HTTP 1. If we want to, to change the links to be pretty, if you click this, you'll see that it, it, they are not pretty by default. It is using this. I'm going to admin. To go to settings. And uh, permalinks. If we choose like this to be the site plus posts and we go again you'll see that the link is working and it, it is looking nice another thing that you can do is to choose the php version for this for this domain you can do so in virtual mean and uh, 
also the server configurations and you have here HP versions. Right now it is the, the latest one, so we don't need to do anything to have it. If you want, you can add another sites into, into this. If we're going to check the resources on the server with a domain added, you will see that uh, there isn't a lot of activity here. So with these configurations, you can easily host two, three websites that are not uh, that uh, loaded with traffic. If you need more, you can you can increase your your VPS size. This is the configurations that you need to to do to to have virtual admin host your site, your WordPress site, in case you like the video and you want to, to receive updates about the future ones, just hit the subscribe button. Thanks.